Hey guys. I'm Sarah. I'm Caitlin. And we are your best friends. Happy Thursday. Welcome to our channel. Yeah. Today we are going to be doing a video that is kicking off a mini series on sex. So today's part one, yeah. unfiltered truth on sex in high school. We have done a video like this before, but we're gonna expound upon it. Subscribe to keep up with the series because we're gonna talk all your questions about sex. I honestly just can't help but feel like this is gonna be a really powerful one. I can't help but feel like a lot of you guys are gonna end up watching this and feel like, my God, there is a God because I've been thinking about this, struggling with this, wondering on this, dealing with this, not knowing, and we're gonna, for some reason, Lord just gonna lead us to talk about it so wherever you are in life even if you're not a christian even if you don't subscribe to the notion about all the sexuality stuff and all these things we highly recommend to um, watch these videos because there is hearts full of love for you and that's how we're doing this so i can't help but feel like this is going to be a powerful series yep so subscribe and we're gonna jump right in part one on filter truth about sex in high school yes so to kick it off, why don't we both share, Sarah, what was your perspective on sex going into high school? Like what was, where was your mind at? What, yeah. What was it like? Yeah, for when we were thinking about this video, I couldn't help but feel led to quickly share just a little, a, a little, a little bit even of my background growing up with sex in general since I was young. And I'll keep it short, but since I was a little girl, I had heard about sex already. My parents had told me about it. Even in elementary, like I had been told that sex, God created it. It's not a bad word. It's not a a sexual word. It's just something, a beautiful thing that God created for inside of marriage to connect two people together for life and all of these things. So for me growing up, which is gonna lead into my high school experience, I wasn't intimidated by the idea of sex. I was actually very confident in my desire and decision to do sex the way that God intended for it to be, which was to not have it outside of marriage. For me, high school is freshman year to senior year. So you're getting in there and I went to a private school my freshman year up until senior year. I had been in a public school the year before that and that was wild. There was a lot of kids having sex and all that stuff. My perspective on it in high school was simply that sex is a beautiful thing and it's something I look forward to in the future. But right now in high school, I'm just doing school. I'm hanging out with friends. And if anything, I knew there was a lot of kids around me having sex, but I just saw it for really what it was. Like, I just know that the fruits of those lifestyles isn't what my dream life is, which I wanted it to be full of peace, joy, and all these things. And no matter what anybody says, there's a lot of stagnancy that comes in life from living outside of the way that God, the creator designed it. So that was like my perspective in high school. Doesn't mean I was perfect. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, for me, like, in middle school, like I had the sex talk with my parents and so I also knew about sex going into high school and I decided that I was gonna wait till marriage. My perspective was relatively innocent going into high school. Like for me, it was not as common for people to be having sex. Like that wasn't, that definitely wasn't the norm. Like yeah. when I heard of people having sex in middle school, it was like, <gasps> Like that's crazy. Yeah. Obviously as you get older, like that becomes more of the normal thing. Mm -hmm. Like that wasn't normal to me, but I started to hear more conversations about sex, like at lunch and stuff like that. Girls like having sex with their boyfriends for the first time, like, and they would share that and I would be like so shocked, like slowly started becoming desensitized to those conversations kind of. So I had made the decision to wait till marriage. Going into high school, I was just, I guess, surprised by how much sex started coming up because I kind of assumed everyone was going to be like me. They weren't. Like it was starting to become more common to just be having sex. I did begin to experience a lot of pressure my sophomore year to have sex and I'll touch on that later just kind of interesting like it was it started to become pretty normal people talking about sex which kind of took me aback so if you're going into high school basically what I'm saying is be prepared for that but that doesn't mean you're weird for your perspective and having a good perspective on sex yeah for sure I remember high school like it was yesterday I actually just saw a memory on Facebook that high school senior mm -hmm. year was six years ago for us that's a long time yeah that but I freshman year was like freshman year was 10 years ago and believe it or not it still feels like the same me in the sense of I remember a lot of fresh things I remember my how my mind was working I will say that I simply just remembered like feeling God loves me so much and I love him so much 
that I trust him. In the next video to come with high school unfiltered truth about sex in college, I'm actually gonna touch on things like pornography and other things about culture. I'm not gonna touch on it in this, but I do say that as a little teaser that there is still more to like this simplistic kind of answer. But at the end of the day though, some things are more powerful when it's the simple truth and God loves me so much and I love him that I trust him. And so I will say just because people around you don't share that same heart posture, a simple heart posture, it doesn't have to be complicated, doesn't mean that you should be intimidated because in life, doesn't matter who's to your left or to your right, all of us, all of us, at the end of the day are gonna be meeting our maker and all that matters is our connection with him and our relationship with him. And so I will just say wherever you are in life, at the end of the day, a lot of the decisions we make either come down to how we view men or how we view God. And because I viewed God as trustworthy and good and he loves me, I made my decisions based off of that. But regardless of your religion or beliefs, mm. if it's not I love God, then it's I love man or I trust culture or I trust what the movies portray and so you're gonna live based off of that mm. and i will say that it there's not there aren't beautiful fruits that come from that so it is pretty simple for me and that is how i felt in high school i love god so much and he loves me that i trust him even with that you know i didn't really come to know god till my sophomore year of college yeah but a lot of the times in high school like i always had sarah who was a believer and she kind of really was helpful for me in all these decisions but still like i didn't have that love for god that sarah had and so what i really had was a love for man which is just humans mm -hmm. and that's why for me my sophomore year i felt an extreme started to have like i went in like i'm waiting till marriage to have sex like duh like sex is weird outside of marriage this is so crazy that people are having sex but then my sophomore year i started to want to give in to that mm. simply because i wanted the love of man i wanted the love i wanted a for boyfriend sure. i wanted yeah. the cute guy on the football team to talk to me and it seems like the only way to keep them snapchatting you or asking you out is if you're willing to offer something and something. I wasn't. That pressure grew simply because I was going through a bit of a boy crazy phase yeah. and it really was as simple as like I just like wanted guys to keep talking to me and they kind of stopped talking to you once they realized they're not gonna get nudes but like I even remember one time I got so excited this guy like asked me he was like two years older he was a junior asked me on like a date it wasn't mm -hmm. really a date like to his house to watch a movie after school and I went I thought we were actually gonna watch a movie like I was so trusting and naive of course and he literally started like making these sexual comments yeah started cuddling started to try to get me to like do things and I ended up just like up and like leaving because my mom started calling me like yeah. crazy and so she kind of like got me out of that situation. I was so like trusting and naive, like thinking like this guy really likes me, like we can just make it work if I just like give a little bit of this and stuff. And so if you're like me, I feel for you and just know like it's not really worth it. That guy that I had a crush on, like now I look at him and I'm like, wow, like I wouldn't have been interested in marrying him. Like it's so short and fleeting high school is, so just hang on and be strong and just remember like if that's all they want then that's all you're gonna get you're you're not getting a boyfriend you're not getting a love story from doing things in order for that person to stay i was super naive and trusting and that kind of led me to like want to give in to that pressure and god protected me in a lot of ways but i yeah. also wasn't perfect in a lot of ways and that's a very real part of this series so. yeah and i'll throw this in because this came to mind because i remember when you were in high school and there was a season of time where you were getting attention from guys and all that and so you were experiencing some of those guys like not just wanting that cute love story basically mm -hmm. and I'm thinking all to myself to kind of close off my last thoughts for mm -hmm. this video I had guys like me and stuff but I didn't get any of those crazy advances but I gotta say this came to mind protect your relationship with God and he will protect you mm -hmm. honestly I gotta say I think boys smelled it 3,000 miles away that I wasn't I wasn't like for that mm -hmm. I wasn't for that I'm very secure and that's not to say that you weren't secure although I'm pretty sure you could say certain things but that's to say like I wasn't even getting to that point and so 
guys wouldn't even try that stuff with me. And I know the world deems that as, oh, you're so valuable and worthy and attractive、mm-hmm. because guys come to you like a bloody fish、mm-hmm. in a tank full of sharks, but it's not the kind of attention actually that is really what us girls want. It's deceptive. And so protect your time with the Lord, protect your love with God, and you'll see his love protects you from a lot of snares that just trust us aren't as fulfilling as unfortunately. Our culture tells us, Instagram tells us, TikTok tells us, it's not all that. All a very like slippery slope, basically.、Mm-hmm. You know, like it's not just gonna be that one day you're gonna go to a guy's house and you guys are gonna have sex. Like maybe it is,、yeah. but like most of the time it just starts with like a guy pressuring you to send pictures and then like he's asking to touch your body and things like like it's all very slow. Yeah. Stay tuned for the third part of our series where we do a QA because we're gonna talk about like. What do I do if I've already messed up in some way?、Yeah. Things like that. Like, this series is definitely not just for people who like, are super like, innocent and haven't had sex yet. Like,、yeah. There is a lot of value for you in talking about this, especially if you're already having sex and doing those things. So, yeah, we just want you to live a healthy life.、Mm-hmm. And same with men watching as well. I know we're throwing in a lot of situations like it's girl and the guy is out here. But please plug yourself in because you guys are just as treasured and worthy and important. And so don't think that、um, you're not worthy of like women respecting your boundaries as well. So insert yourself as much as possible in these videos、um, because you're so special and loved by God as sons. So, with that being said,、um, we look forward to the next one, part two. It's gonna be really good.、Mm-hmm. But subscribe before we go, and we will see y'all in the next one. Next week, we'll be talking about sex in college. And then we're gonna drop our QA. So, subscribe so you can stay tuned, y'all. Turn that bell on, baby.、Mm-hmm. All right, guys, we love you. See you in the next video. Okay. Oh, yeah.